Up Pope Francis met yesterday with the head of the German Bishops' Conference at the Vatican. The Holy Father and Bishop Georg Batzing met in a private audience yesterday. Afterward, Bishop Batzing said he assured the Holy Father that rumors the German church was seeking to leave the worldwide church were untrue. Joining us now is A.C. Wimmer, editor-in-chief of Catholic News Agency Deutsch. A.C., welcome back. Always good to be with you. Uh, so what more do we know about this meeting, and why did it take place now? <laughs> Those are two very pertinent questions, Tracy, and there's been a lot of speculation. However, the Vatican has made sure, when being asked about the whole meeting and whether these statements coming from the German Bishops' Conference were true by the National Catholic Register, to say that, well, we normally don't comment on these things. So what did the German Bishops' Conference say? Well, from what we know is that Pope Francis has encouraged Bishop Betzing, the chairman of the German Bishops' Conference, to continue on the synodal path, but also that the Holy Father, I quote, was rather well aware of the situation in Germany. And yes, the word crisis is one that was used even in the statement. Yeah, we know Bishop Atzing has released a statement on that meeting. Um, has the Vatican said anything? Well, apart from denying to say anything, they haven't really. As to whether that is inconvenient or not is beside the point, I'm afraid, because it is quite par for the course. Normally, when these audiences take place, unless there is a particular reason for the Holy See to issue a statement, there is nothing forthcoming. In this particular instance, of course, a, a meeting has been a long time coming, and to see it happening at this point in time, given all the recent developments in the German church that we've reported about and spoken on in this program, I'm sure that they were the ones that were discussed, in particular the question of the synodal process, as mentioned, but also the open rebellion by part of the German church when it comes to the blessing of homosexual couples and intercommunion with Protestants. And AC, do we know, is anything else scheduled between the Vatican and church leaders from Germany? Well, there's going to have to be another ad limina meeting. Usually they take place within a certain amount of time as per canon law. The last one was in November of 2015, during which time Pope Francis already raised a number of the issues that were raised again and again, including in his letter to the German Catholics. As to whether that ad limina meeting is coming sooner or later, in particular with a view to the timing of the global synodal process that the Catholic Church is engaging in, is anyone's guess. However, having heard around the traps what people are saying, I think we're going to see a bit more stuff coming out between the lines, as it were, some informal diplomacy, rather than any pronouncements made publicly, statements coming forward either from the Holy See or from the German Bishops' Conference, who has all along said that Pope Francis has encouraged them on the synodal process, something Cardinal Marx said earlier on, even when the Vatican dashed some of the hopes about this process being something sui generis, something in particular and special for the German uh, church, as it were, um, and also with a view to having it as a binding process. None of these things have come to pass. And yet the German bishops have repeatedly said, we feel encouraged, notwithstanding some people raising, as you know, very serious concerns, not just bishops in Germany, but around the world. Yeah, indeed. Uh, something else I want to talk about, AC, is uh, Cardinal Gerhard Mahler uh, from Germany, as you know, recently was appointed to the Vatican's highest court, its version of a Supreme Court. What more can you tell us about this appointment, and was it a surprise? I think it was a massive surprise for a lot of observers in Germany, and I wonder whether the Cardinal himself might have been a bit surprised, notwithstanding the fact that when speaking to Vatican News, he said that this was clearly a sign of trust. I quote, the Holy Father trusts me, not only as a person, but also as far as my competences are concerned. Now, as we know, Cardinal Gerhard Dubig Müller is not only the former prefect of the Congregational Doctrine of the Faith, he is also a dogmatics professor by training and a former bishop in Germany, in Regensburg, and Bavaria. So he brings with him a lot of clout. And though he's not a trained Catholic canon lawyer per se, as a theologian, he says, and he himself thinks so, he can contribute an important theological dimension that one must always have in mind when dealing with canon law, in particular, I suppose, when you're dealing with the very highest ecclesiastical court the Catholic Church has. Well, AC, unfortunately, we have to leave it right there. Always appreciate your time. Thank you so much. AC Wimmer, editor-in-chief of Catholic News Agency Deutsch. Thanks again. Thank you kindly. God bless.